Finally, my Skyrim is perfect. There is simply no need to mod anything anymore. Or that's what I said precisely 15 minutes before booting Skyrim up with a handy mod called Visualize Vanilla. And now I think we have some serious work to do, so buckle up, my friends. Well, maybe I should first explain what any of this means for those who are puzzled. What are all these bright colored, wacky looking things in my Skyrim? They are objects that still have vanilla textures. And what do we say to vanilla textures? Not today, Shagarath. <laughs> Today, we'll begin a short series of videos where I'll be replacing every vanilla texture we can find in my game, because nothing ever seems to be enough when it comes to modding this darn game that keeps consuming me as the years go by. In this first part of the series, I'll briefly introduce Visualize Vanilla, and with the help of the mod, we'll find and destroy vanilla textures of Skyrim's environment, wildlife and monsters. So, as we have already established, Visualize Vanilla by John Skyrim is a mod that swaps every unmodded vanilla texture into this colorful texture that stands out from the environment. This is basically a tool that makes it easier to spot things that are left unmodded, so you can fix these imperfections and leave absolutely no Skyrim left in your mods. For reference, this is what a completely unmodded Skyrim would look like. Why does this decently remind me of something? This mod is meant for us who are obsessed about modding everything inside and feel the satisfaction of replacing these colorful blobs one by one with some high definition textures. If you're looking to try it out yourself, read the instructions super carefully so you don't accidentally ruin your Skyrim by overwriting files. Now that we have our tool to visualize everything that's still vanilla, we can begin to fill in the gaps. Most of my Skyrim is already modded with various texture mods and with a base texture pack, which is Noble Skyrim, but there are a lot of things still left unmodded. We'll focus on Skyrim's environment and creatures in this video and start with the friendly and unfriendly creatures of the game, such as farmstead animals and cave trolls. To avoid seeing any pixelated mush when the latter attacks you from close range, we'll have to mod them to their ultimate potential. I'd rather begin the showcase with the friendly creatures, thus the classic Skyrim horse must be the first one to get enhanced. I have shared my love for realistic horse breeds earlier in my videos, but the mod is even better when combining it together with fluffworks. I'm pretty scared of horses, but if I saw one like this, I would ride it off the sunset and never come back. And yes, we're going to fluffify pretty much every hairy animal that is out there, but don't worry if it's too much for you, you can also get only the textures and forget about fluffworks completely or use xedit and delete the entries for the animals you don't want to be fluffy. For the elk and the deer, MM Real Elks is the perfect classic retexture. With fluffworks, they're truly high quality and majestic and makes me think of Red Dead Redemption too. And if we want to enhance the prey animals even more, the rabbit of Skyrim gets a cute makeover as well. Such a makeover that hunting these rabbits is now nearly impossible for me. Maybe I could do it if I would close my eyes, somehow hit my arrow on the mark and remove the meat I still shot, then maybe. They are just that damn cute. I had a lop-eared bunny just like this when I was a young child, so that likely contributes in my opinion on this. Now, in the farm, there is the highland cow, which has always been adorable, but with Mihail's cow replacer and cow Mihail animal fluffy installed, it's definitely most adorable animal in Skyrim. I don't want to sound dramatic, but I would kill and I would die for this cow. The goats get the same treatment, fluff everywhere. Now it's time to update the universally celebrated Skyrim creature, the chicken. What a delicious comparison, probably the best yet. This chicken replacer creates such a contrast with the vanilla textures. Now you'll be truly sorry when accidentally hitting them. Let's be honest, the Dawnguard Huskies of Skyrim don't really need anything, they're already quite perfect in their cute goofiness, but Skyrim Snow Dogs makes them look more realistic. And don't worry, there is an optional file to add the armor back on them for those who are missing it. Now, what does the fox say? 
I'm not kidding when I say I love that song when it came out, and still kinda do. The Skyrim fox looks cute as ever with fluff works, better photo rail foxes. Now on to the hostile creatures, which you have been probably waiting for. In Skyrim, there are all kinds of beasts that want to kill you on sight. Trolls, skeletons, giants, spiders, saber cats. Hmm, what are we forgetting? Oh yeah, dragons. Maybe those could be a good place to start. No one else than Alduin the World Eater himself should get the highest honor of being the first hostile creature we're overhauling in this video. I can't spell this mod's name for the life of me, but it's right there on the left side of the screen. There are multiple color options in the mod installer, so you can match Alduin with your gaming PC's RGB lights. Mine should be pink and purple and orange, but maybe I'll settle for a nice purple. The common dragon design is iconic and needs no recreating, but it doesn't hurt to set it to 2023 standards to make the dragons look crispy and high definition. For that purpose, I do recommend rustic dragons. Another hostile creature that you can never get enough is the wolf. Or maybe the wolf never gets enough of you. <laughs> Wolves of Skyrim is everything you need to overhaul these canine troublemakers to make them look neat, yet still intimidating. Now I want to tame one as a pet. The saber cat is another creature that I find adorable and would love to befriend. One of the first mods I ever downloaded was a saber cat mount mod actually. I miss that one. <laughs> bears are intimidating as ever with bears of the north mod, making them a lot larger and fluffier. Why are they so dangerous if they're so huggable? Skeletons and Draugr are the common undead humanoid enemies, and dealing with them is just another day of the week. Skeleton Replacer HD does what it promises and makes the skeletons way better. Draugr Texture Overhaul also enhances the Draugr while also keeping them strictly lore-friendly and faithful to the original style. Even the beard is now super high quality. The trolls of Skyrim are fearsome creatures that I would advise you to stay clear of. I wonder why on earth do they have the need to have three eyes? With Fluffworks and the retexture, they look more frightening than ever. The Daedric Atronachs are beautiful and intimidating asses, so they don't need to be heavily modded, but I really like the subtle enhancement of Iconic's retextures of them. I've seen enough sexification of the Flame Atronach, and I think a vanilla-friendly overhaul is all that is needed this time. I'm not one to judge though. The Falmer dwell in dark caves and dwarven ruins, and for these creepy creatures, Falmer Overhaul is a real miracle maker. With new models and textures, they actually resemble elves and look less like some weird underground goblins, although that's pretty much what they are. <laughs> Terrifying and amazing at the same time. Just imagine playing Skyrim in VR and meeting some of these guys. Let me know if you've been there. I hate Dwemer ruins, not only because the Falmer creep me out, but there are also other creepy crawlies that I'd rather avoid in my daily life. Sure, we got Chorus, but also Dwemer automatons that to no one's surprise, I'm scared of. They're probably the scariest enemies found in Skyrim for me for some reason, especially the big ones. With CC's HD Dwemer automatons, they get all crispy and clear. Some creatures get hostile only if provoked, such as giants and their pet mammoths. For a quality retexture, Kadron's mods are the right choice. The mod crab is also a relatively peaceful little creature until they're up for blood. As demonstrated in Skyrim, there are plenty of different hostile and friendly creatures that are in dire need of enhancing with mods. And for the sake of keeping the video safe for work, I'll leave the Hag Ravens out of this. Next, let's overhaul the environment. See, I have used modded textures and models for flowers and shrubs and whatnot before, but in my current load order, there hasn't been any of those in a while. Nexus is, of course, full of beautiful mods for the Skyrim flora, but these cathedral 3D flora mods take the price, if you ask me. 
Especially now that the ugliest thing in Skyrim, that is this dead shrub, has finally been defeated. So long, you vile plant creature. If someone threatened you with shouting you off a cliff in High Rothgar, saying you have to choose only one type of flower to mod, you should pick the mountain flower. They are simply everywhere in Skyrim, so modding them makes a big difference to the beauty of the Skyrim wilderness. Picking flowers becomes a nice pastime rather than an alchemy chore. You can also get an alternate texture mod for them if you have been using this mod for a while already and want something new. For the beautiful dragon's tongue, there are multiple color options, ranging in vanilla accurate oranges to shades of pink and purple. To make them even more pleasing to the eye, you can make them glow a little bit with this additional mod that utilizes glow map and ENB light. Now they're easier to spot even in the dark. As demonstrated, these cathedral 3D replacers are indeed very 3D and make botanist activities way more compelling. Not only are the replacers entirely elegant, but somehow they are also performance friendly. What a steal! For the mystical nightshades and death bells, I recommend using Dovahnik's diverse flower mods. Obviously, they include new 3D models and high quality textures, but they also take advantage of base object swapper, which creates a lot of color variety to the flowers. You can also get ENB light on them, which makes the flowers shine ominously. So extra, and that is just how I like it. Speaking of being extra, this Nurnroot mod makes your annoying Nurnroot way more bearable, because now they at least look pretty, especially with this particle light patch. Um, please tell me if I'm going too far with making all my flora glow in the dark. Enough about flowers, we also want to replace these ugly shrubs that are infesting Skyrim. I swear they are everywhere. Tundra shrubs redone gives them a nice little facelift and now they're just pretty and unproblematic. There are 1K, 2K and 4K options, and the mod replaces all three variations of the Tundra shrub. We'll also overhaul our Riften shrubs with Fall Forest and Yellow Shrubs Redone mod, as well as Reed Shrub Redone from the same mod author. Be gone, ugly shrubs! You can get the all-in-one mod too for easier installation. I just love how we can completely dismiss these weird bushes with installing TB's 3D nettles. I never liked this plant after getting burnt by it pretty badly as a kid, but in Skyrim it looks wonderful and can't hurt anybody. In before someone makes a mod that makes these nettles do damage when you walk over them. My nightmare. And of course, we mustn't forget about mushrooms. To get a nice and faithful but very high definition rendition of the Skyrim mushrooms, I'd recommend serious mushrooms. Look at those polygons. Probably has more of them than a certain Dota 2 hero. Oh, yes. There are mushrooms in Solstheim too, so let's travel to Morrowind to check out the local flora. Rally's Solstheim plants gives a good overhaul on six Solstheim plants, so that even traveling to another province doesn't disrupt the modding. The people of Skyrim need to eat, and we need to overhaul the sowables. I think these potatoes and leeks look like they contain more nutrients now that they're modded. Our last target isn't a plant, but for the contender of the most unnecessary and lavish environmental texture mod out there, it must be Rally's ants. You heard me right, ants. Did you know there are ants in the game? I'm just saying this because it took me a long while to notice. But yes, they exist, and now they are also better. The mod also makes them 30% smaller to look more realistic. On my watch, nothing will break the immersion. Now we have successfully ruined the original art style of the game with mismatched textures from different mod creators, just how I like it. Although I feel like my GPU is not happy at all, let's keep on destroying it in the next video in which I'll showcase new textures for people, armor and weapons. Mod links are in the description box below as always. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun filling it with anecdotes and nonsense with the commentary. See ya!